Greetings friends, welcome back. It is November 2024 and we've got a super cool project for you for Thanksgiving this year. Normally, we do more of a decoration type project. This year, we decided to do something a little different. This is a box, but it's not just any box. It's a gratitude box. So each day between now and Thanksgiving, myself and my family, we can open this up, we can write something we're grateful for on a piece of paper and we can drop it in there and then shake them all up. Don't really have to shake them up, but you can shake them up. And then on Thanksgiving or the end of the month, uh, or however we wanna do this, maybe it's not even for this holiday. You can open it up and you can pull the things out and you can read them and remind yourself what you're grateful for. Because even on our worst days, we all have at least a little something to look at to be grateful for. You don't have to use it as a gratitude box. You can use it as something else. It is a sliding lid box, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna build this. Let's look at what kind of tools we need right here. We've got wood glue, or any kind of glue really will work. You could use super glue even if you wanted to, but I tend to glue my fingers together when I do that. Wood glue, tape, uh, we're gonna use the tape for clamping. You can use clamps if you've got clamps, but we're gonna use tape today. Sandpaper. And this is just a sanding block. You don't necessarily need a sanding block, but you're probably gonna want some sandpaper because someone, we're not gonna name any names, someone made a mistake this month uh, and made the tool path for our CNC, the big machine we use to cut out these projects, go in the wrong direction, which creates all these horrible, fuzzy little cuts when you're cutting plywood. Apologies, uh, it will still go together and sand out very nicely. So what are you gonna get in your kit? Let's take a look right here. And there we are. So you are going to have uh, multiple pieces here. You're gonna have two that are mostly square. These are the sides. They look identical. They both have this same dado groove in it. A piece that has cuts all the way around the edge. They look like teeth. These are called box joints. This is the bottom. Brown piece that doesn't look anything like any of the other pieces. This is the sliding lid. We don't need that until the very end. And then the last two pieces you have are gonna look very similar, but if you line them up, you'll notice that one is taller than the other, and it also has a groove in it similar to the sides. That is the back piece. The piece that does not have the groove in it that is shorter, this is the front. So if I were to lay this all out, I'd lay out the bottom piece, the two sides, the front and the back. And then really all I have to do is fold them all together into a box where you put it together. Take your sandpaper, fold it in half, and then you can run it in this groove and you can get rid of the fuzzies in there. And if I do that for all these pieces, that'll just make it slide a little easier. Okay, it's not perfect, doesn't have to be. Um, all these pieces, we did sand the tops and sand the bottom on our drum sander uh, as best we could. There's still some stuff that needs cleaned up. You can clean it up by, you can sand the outside edges now, that'll clean them up. You can sit here and try and pick at all the insides and try to get all those little areas cleaned up if you want, it's not necessary. The easier way is to let's go ahead and put this thing together and then we'll just sand it from the outside. I'm just gonna double check here real quick before I put any glue on. Too tight, not too loose. It'll even hold together on its own unless I shake it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna start with the bottom piece and I'm gonna start with one of the sides. And the side goes on the short side of the bottom piece. And what I can do is I'm gonna put in each one of these cracks or each one of these box joints at the lower side I'm gonna put a drop of glue, just a drop. Then I'm gonna lay it down um, or hold it, but this is a workbench, so if it gets glue on it, it's not a big deal. And I am going to put them here on these outside portions where the other piece is going to sit on top of it and then we'll have good glue coverage. So then I can take these two pieces I can slide them together just like that. I'm gonna set that 
just like this so it doesn't fall over. I'm gonna put glue in each one of these. I can flip this over and around and try and get the glue on those other pieces where I had it before, or I can take this piece, and I can go ahead and put glue inside each one of these. And that's where it gets a little more challenging because you gotta line up a couple edges, but you, you can wiggle it. You can make it fit. Don't be afraid to get glue on your fingers. So you can see how this is going. Now we've got two more sides. We've got a back and a side. And I'm gonna go to the back. All right, one last side. I'm gonna do it real quick. And if you want, it doesn't hurt to try and put all this together before you put glue on it, just to make sure it's all gonna fit up nicely. All right, so there's that. It is together. It's got some cleanup to do. It's pretty, got some glue on the inside to clean up, which I'm just gonna take a wet paper towel. Gotta pull some of this together a little more and it clearly needs some sandy. I'm gonna wrap tape all the way around it very tightly to hold it. This would actually be a really cool box for a present for a holiday or a birthday. Okay, I'm gonna take the lid and the lid is gonna slide in from the front. We're just test fitting it right now. And it's gonna slide all the way back into that back groove. And this one fit very well. Um, you can put something on the top of it if you want to for a knob. Um, I did not on this one. We take our sandpaper and we can slide it back and forth on the sandpaper, try and create a little bit of a beveled edge. Now, when I put this in there, it slides a little easier. It's still a little tight, but that'll go away when I take the tape off. Two hours later. I take my tape off, throw it on the floor, Maybe you shouldn't do that. Now, if you take your sandpaper, or a sander, if you've got a sander, that's even easier. Take your sandpaper, you wanna sand with the direction of the grain. So on this piece, the grain is going that way, you can see the lines. This one is even more defined, you can see the lines are going that way. You wanna sand with the grain really nicely. And then, you can paint it and it'll look nice and clean, and no one will ever know that someone at Deeply Ingrained made a slight mistake when cutting this out. Things to keep in mind when you are painting it. Do not paint inside these grooves. I taped around the edges so that paint would not get on that. And if you have to do a little bit of work, if you have to take a little more sandpaper into these edges or on this edge to make it glide nice and smooth, that's okay. If you have any questions, let us know. Indy is very intrigued here. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know, and we will try to help you. Enjoy the project, and we will look forward to seeing you guys in January. Take care, and have a wonderful holiday season, and think about all the things you're grateful for, and we will see you in January.